Amigo. We're making a sopa toscana. We're making breadsticks. We're making um, baked uh, ravioli with pasta sauce. That's just that's just really basic, honestly. But the sopa and the breadsticks we are making. Hi, Marlo. She's my first comment to go. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hello. I hope you guys are warm. I hope you're cozy. And if you're not, come over, friend. I'll warm you up. I'm Lisa. How are you doing up in Can Canada? Hello, sister wife. How are you doing over in the Arctic Circle? <laughs> Hello, Penny. Hello, Teresa. It's cold, and we were craving, like, something warm. So I'm going to make ravioli in pasta sauce baked like lasagna style with a little cheese on top that's really basic and simple to do and then we're going to make zopa toscana which is my favorite uh soup when i go to olive garden and we're going to make um breadsticks so if you guys are down down to go down a a a a make sure you guys share this video to your profile so that you guys can come back and make it later okay share me out like Plus, like, like, I, like you should. Ah, uh, share, sharing is herring, okay? <sighs> Hello, everyone. Hello, Rhonda. Hello, Penny. We had a, we had, you did? Oh, yo, oh, no. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, no, no. We're making a uh, dinner. Uh, we actually ventured out and I, I want to give a big shout out, uh, a shout out to the homies. No, I want to give a big shout out to the Horagonians that be leaving food for the rest of us. Cause like the shelves were not empty. Like everybody's just buying the few things that they need. Nobody's going wild. Nobody's going buck wild, you know, like everybody's just like getting what they need and going home and being safe and everything's, um, everybody's jobs being understanding hopefully <laughs> hello we're making zopa toscana um we're gonna prep everything um actually let me put, let me prep our raviolis first as you guys are joining we're gonna just the raviolis are really easy um to make they're gonna go in the oven for about 30 minutes and then we're gonna make the bread sticks uh while the soup bo comes to a boil and then we're, dinner's going to be ready. And like just like that. So I'm going to be using um, the fresh raviolis from um, the Rana brand. Rana, Rana, colita de Rana. Dale un poquito para mi, para tu hermana. Um, the Italian sausage and the mozzarella cheese ones. So um, that's what we're having for dinner. What are you guys having? We just want warm. I haven't gone to the gym in literally four days because we've been frozen in. So if I'm a gain weight, it needs to be worth it. I came over here. Really? Facebook. Oh, Facebook is doing people dirty. So, um, for this ravioli recipe, I'm just honestly throwing in all my raviolis into this dish. This baking dish. And then we're going to put pasta sauce, whatever pasta sauce you like, over it. I'm just going to mix it like this. Like, Actually, babe, I think I'm going to have to use my bigger pan but i don't want to i don't want to do this anymore oh you know what i have a let me let me use this i have a plan i have a plan and i opened up my legs i have plan b no i'm just ah! we're gonna use this yeah yeah we're gonna use this Okay, we're gonna use this instead because this is a little bigger and wider. Okay. And we're gonna mix up all of our raviolis. Hopefully I don't ruin, well, that's fine. This, if I ruin it, pues ya que friend. I ruined my body having kids. Get away and that ruining my dishes. Hello everyone. We're making uh, Zopa Toscana, um, the Olive Garden soup. And then we're making um, Olive Garden style breadsticks, the huevona. But with with webona vibes and then we're gonna um make uh this ravioli baked ravioli okay so i'm just like making sure everything nothing's stuck together and then oh you know what shoot this is the pasta sauce that we're using we're just using the bertoli uh olive olive oil 
one. I'm gonna have to dump all this. Oh, no. Ay, no, friend. Para pendeja, no cobran. You know that? Para pendeja, no cobran. <laughs> We're gonna put the pasta sauce on the bottom. We're gonna put one of the pasta sauces on the bottom. And then we're gonna put our raviolis in, okay? And then we're gonna put the second pasta sauce on top. If you're just making one bag of ravioli, you could just use one pasta sauce. I like my stuff saucy. And then it's gonna go in the oven covered um, with aluminum foil for about 30, 30 to 45 minutes. Um, I add a little bit of water in here. It's not really water. It's like what my mom, my, if you grew up Mexican, you know, your mom, she do not leave nothing in the jar. And this is also our Tupperware. So, so I'm using a little bit of that water to like clean it off and, uh, prepare a Tupperware. <laughs> Hello. We love you. Thank you for showing us. I love you. Zopa Toscana. What kind of potatoes do you use? Russet. You want russet. Well, if you want it to be like they bake it at the restaurant, russet, but use whatever potatoes you like. Okay? And I'm just going to make sure that everything kind of goes into the sauce. Then this is going to bake for about 30 minutes and then we'll take it out. And then we're going to put our mozzarella cheese on top. And then we're going to let that melt for about 10 minutes, five to 10 minutes in the oven. I'm just making sure that all the ravioli is in sauce, encased in sauciness. That little extra bit of water that we added is going to help that ravioli cook. And this is fresh ravioli. If you do frozen, the water from the frozen noodles um, uh, also helps. And then that, um, I like to I like to sprinkle it with Italian seasoning. Let me grab some of my, my Italian seasoning. That is a really poor attempt at an Italian accent. All, the only Italian accent I know is my Mario Brothers Italian accent. So this is just Italian seasoning, no no salt. Um, it's just the seasonings for like all the Italian stuff. So it has like, um, here, I'll tell you what it has. It has basil, oregano, rosemary, thyme, parsley, and garlic. And I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top just to add a little bit of extra flavor. What's your flavor? Baby, what's your flavor? Um, and then we're gonna put some aluminum foil over it. The oven is at 375. It's gonna go in there for 30 minutes. Then we're gonna make our breadsticks. Our breadsticks are cheaters breadsticks. So don't tell your man, you're a cheater. We're gonna use the uh, French bread and then we're gonna roll these out into French bre uh, breadsticks. Cause you can't have Zopa Toscana without breadsticks. Like, is that even legal? All right, okay, this is gonna go in the oven for exactly 30 minutes at 375 degrees. Okay, and there, I'm gonna put timer 30, start, okay? All right, now that that's done, we're gonna start the prep work for our Zopa Toscana, okay? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to uh, dice our onions, onions, garlic, uh, kale here's what ingredients you need okay you need um uh chicken broth you need bacon you need russet potatoes these are the extra big uh baking potatoes you need kale you need garlic onion you're gonna need for season you're gonna need garlic powder salt uh red chili flakes and red chili flakes garlic salt and pepper okay and then you're gonna need uh, one to two cups of heavy whipping cream, and that is your sopa toscana. And then for breadsticks, we're gonna need, uh, you could like, you can make your own bread if you want, but if you're way buena like me, it, I hope you are, um, you'll make the French bread out of the rolled bread. We're gonna cut them into little breadsticks. We're gonna do an egg wash. We're gonna bake them for 10 minutes. We're gonna take them out. We're gonna put a seasoned butter on top, put them back in for a couple seconds just so they brown. Just like that, we're at Olive Heart Hoden. Okay. So, um, hello. What are you guys having for dinner? Oh yes, ground sausage. You're right. I, yes, yes, yes. My ground sausage. Gosh. Unless you're a vegetarian, then you can use regular sausage. I'm actually going to use um, 
Oh, and then you'll need Parmesan, um, like fresh Parmesan or grated Parmesan, whatever you like. I'm going to do mild Italian sausage, but you could do like the spicy or the sweet sausage, whatever sausage you like. So the first thing you need to do is grab your bacon and you're going to dice up your bacon into small pieces. And I'm going to prep everything before we head over to the stove. The stove is already ready. Our ravioli is already baking. Mm, this smells nice and porky. I love that word. So dice up our bacon. And we want our bacon into small pieces, like almost like crumbs. You're going to do like bacon crumbles. Crumbies crumbles. So we're going to cut up our bacon. So first you're going to cook your bacon and it's going to get nice and crispy. Then you're going to take out any excess oil. You'll leave a little bit in there. Then you're going to throw in your uh, diced onions and minced garlic. Then you're going to throw in, let that cook for a little bit. Then you're going to throw in your sausage. And then once your sausage, sausage is in there, you're going to throw in your chicken stock um, and your potatoes. And your kale goes in last. The kale only cooks for about one minute in there. And then, um, yeah. And then you're going to throw in your cream, your whip, heavy whipping cream or whatever cream you want to use. You could use whatever cream you want to use. But heavy whipping cream is what the recipe calls for. Um, I've been making the sopa for a long time. Actually, my sister-in-law asked me to make it a while ago, and I forgot. Hola, buenas noches. Hello, friend. Thank you, Sonia. You're the best. Can you pin that? I'm cooking pork roast. Yum. Tomorrow, Jose asked for um, dumpling soup. We made uh, dumpling soup a while ago, and he was out of town, and he's like, you know what, babe? I want some of that dumplings that, you, that dumpling soup you made. Pork dumpling soup. So we're going to make that tomorrow. Um, yeah. Okay, so there's our, our uh, bacon. We're going to move this to the side. I'm going to turn on my pan so when we get over there, it's nice and hot. All right, so now we're going to chop up our garlic. Our garlic, we're going to just use minced, pre-minced pre garlic. I already have some. Then we're going to throw it. Where is our pre-minced? No, please. No, please. No, please. Oh, there you are. I found it. Hold on. So for, I'm not going to, like, do fresh garlic. I'm just going to do the, um, minced, the chef's cuisine minced garlic about a, about as much garlic as you want honestly you can't go wrong garlic is just extra flavor okay let me dice my onions and you're just going to need one whole onion diced okay depending on how much soup you're making if you're making less than me then just do half an onion if you're making more than me then do a whole onion or do double the onion. So we're gonna dice an onion. But you guys, my dogs, I opened the front door and Lenny ran and then Pebbles ran after her and then we couldn't get them back in. And you can't run right now because it's so icy outside that you literally like hurt yourself. So I was like, that's it. My dogs are gone forever. Bye. No, <laughs> shut the door. No, <laughs> they came back, but oh. Pebbles. Oh, I left the fridge open. So yeah, this is what we're making for dinner. If you've never made this, it's actually really easy. It's really easy. And a lot of people love a little like soup, like going to Olive Garden for the soup. And it's actually super easy and delicious to make at home. Um, and it's actually fairly quick. So we're gonna dice up that onion. Cut up our russet potatoes. Clean our kale. Oh, no, I'm gonna do it like this. I'm gonna do it like my mom does it. When pica cebolla. But she does it real fast. I'm like, mom, no te da miedo cortarte un dedo. She's like, nope. I'm a, I'm a professional. How's everybody doing? Texas, especially. I'm worried for you guys. Oh, you like the um the chicken, uh, what's it called? The one with the little, um, babe, I'm not trying to start fights on the internet. Jose's trying to start fights with you guys. Okay. Jose's like, did you hear what he said? I didn't say that y'all. I don't even follow sports. Hello, Rodney. It's 
hope Rodney's acting better in the comments than my husband is back here. Um, so yeah, I'm worried for Texas because I know that like when weather hits like this, like their power grids don't normally, aren't like capable of sustaining all that heat. But then I always wondered because like, I get the whole like, uh, our houses are built different and everything, but like, doesn't it take the same energy to run ACs that it does to take, run uh, heaters? Wait, does it? Or am I wrong? Is my mental capacity wrong? Because I believe it is probably. Yes, in Houston, I know. Can you link your recipes on here? Um, I st I'm actually filming uh, my recipe over here. And I'll post it as like a little like, like a little like 10 minute recipe moment. Okay. For you guys. Don't chop your finger off. You need all, you need all five on that hand. Okay. And I'm just going to chop the side of my onion, get it all nice and cut it up. And for me, with recipes with onion, I like to make my onion really small. I like it to dissolve. Um, but remember, like, the bigger the chunks, the more onion you'll see. So if you have, like, people in your family who aren't big, like, onion or garlic people, like, cut it small, and it'll kind of melt into the broth. Um, I'm just going to do a nice rough chop through it. Um, my uh, Dreezy here on FB... Uh, she made me some me, me hizo antojar esta sopa the other day when she posted it. I was like, no, not the dieta running out the door. All right, now the russet uh, potatoes. I'm going to do, I'm going to see what two look like and maybe three, but you don't really need a lot. I'm going to clean them. And I got them like this because they're fairly cl much cleaner and like prettier for the sopa. And you want to leave the skin on so that the potato doesn't fall apart into the soup and it becomes just like a like a potato chowder um you want to keep those like potatoes nice and firm so here's how we're cutting can you guys see can everybody see yes yeah, stay warm guys where's your chopper at it's in the dishwasher okay so you want to cut your potatoes thin and like this okay and you don't want to cut you want to cut them fairly about the same size so they cook at the same speed okay if you cut some really thin and then some really big ones, then you're going to get some that are like undercooked and some that are overcooked. So just cut them like this, fairly the same size. I haven't seen you in forever. Really, friend? I've been here. Nunca me fui. I've been here once upon a time not long ago. She was still here. And she admitting it, she can't take it back because she went nowhere. <laughs> okay, sorry, guys. I get into my wrapping era and it's not my favorite. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. Getting gas, yes. Can you make next time Mexican lasagna, please? Mexican lasagna doesn't really exist. I don't think in like actual Mexican cuisine. So I would have to look up a recipe. Mexican lasagna. Is it like Mexican lasagna like enchiladas? Or am I wrong? It's kind of like asking me like, can you make Mexican pizza? I'm like, isn't that pizza on a tortilla? <laughs> Isn't that just regular pizza with a tortilla? Okay. Uh, I'm going to take that one out because she got a little... You know what? Let me try to take the brown spot away. See how deep that brown spot goes. Okay. We took the little brown spot away. I think I am going to do all three of the papas. Okay. And while the potatoes, while the soup cooks, we'll make our breadsticks. Our breadsticks actually only stay in the oven for 10 minutes. Um, so we're going to make our breadsticks. And just like that, Olive Garden, what? <laughs> Olive Garden, who? Do you guys think, uh, I think that's actually maybe enough potatoes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put three potatoes in. Two potatoes, three potatoes, four potatoes. Let me wash this last one. Make sure it's nice and washed. And then we're going to cut the potato. Okay. 
We actually have another um, like weather system coming in tomorrow. And then after that, we go back to like normal temperatures for our season, um, which I'm really excited about because like I really do like I love being here and everybody being like stuck together and like having time. Like yesterday I did my son's girlfriend's nails. We were just bored. Um, I'll ask him if he wants to, if she wants to. She's really shy. So and then I let her shop through my makeup. I was like, just take whatever you want. And then um, today we went to the we went to Walmart. We ventured out just to get the ingredients for this. It was nice to see that everybody's just kind of like nobody's like you know like going crazy. Nobody's like you know. There's a lot of people still out in the cold. So I am gonna still be doing my mirrors for that because we're this is only the beginning of our cold season. So I'm a little I'm a little concerned. <laughs> okay. So now we're gonna um this we're done with this so this is all gonna go at the same time i put this i love having that little island now because i kind of use it as my prep station now we're going to clean our kale kale is the the i honestly really and i didn't really know that kale was in this recipe like i didn't know what it was i thought maybe it was like basil until like one day when we were at Olive Garden, I asked them, I'm like, what's in here? And they're like, oh, that's kale. And I was like, from Teen Mom? No, I'm just joking. <laughs> me, tortillas, me, seasoned me, tacos, enchilada seasoning. Yeah, that's, that's not something I ever like cook for my family. Um, but I mean, I can, I would just have to like look up a recipe for it. I'm sure Fabian would like it because he likes fake Mexican food. I call that fake because, like, it doesn't really exist in traditional Mexican cooking, you know? All right, babe? You think Fabian would like that? Yeah. So I'm just going to wash the kale because sometimes kale has, like, little piedritas. And the one thing we're not going to do is break a muela. Hi, Evelyn! Aloha! Hello! Not kale. I'm like, is it kale from Teen Mom? <laughs> <laughs> Put some kale from Teen Mom in your soap butt. Boscana, yeah. Okay. Me getting blocked by kale from Teen Mom tomorrow. Watch. I wasn't even a fan anyways. <laughs> my Pharaoh was my favorite. She went through the back door. No, I'm just you know like okay if you know you know and if you don't go look it up <laughs> all right let me clean this kale really quick this is going to be rough chopped and then added in there but i'm going to do that right before we add it in there i'm just going to make sure it's nice and clean okay what are we making we're making sopa toscana like the olive garden soup so let's let's get it on okay let me grab all my ingredients we're gonna bring them over here we're gonna grab everything Todo menos. Of my measuring cups. Like I literally just bought new measuring cups and there's only one in and out. I love that for love that for my house. Okay, let's go. Let's go, baby. Hello. Thank you for the <laughs> me scared by my own house. I'm like, oh, what was that? My house has ghosts. Okay. I'm drinking my pink drink. If you guys ask about it, I'm gonna make a video of it. I just I ran out of all my ingredients and then I had to go buy them again. Well, not all my ingredients, just the main ingredient, which is uh, sparkling coconut water or sparkling coconut, sparkling water, coconut flavor. Okay, I'm going to move you guys back. Can you guys see or no? Can you see in my pot? <laughs> just, okay, good. We're adjust well adjusted. Are we well adjusted? Not mentally, but we are in our camera world. Okay, plug her in. Plug you I'm plugging you girls in. We're pretty much not going to leave here until we go make our breadsticks. So the first thing we're going to put in a hot pan is all that bacon.
I'm gonna wash my hands and I'm gonna touch it with my hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the first thing, first thing first, you put bacon in first. And you're just gonna let this cook until it's crispy. And I'm just kind of separating all the pieces of bacon. So bacon, honestly, like, and then you're actually taking the, all the bacon out. Um, but I love this recipe. I love the fact that like, like, it tastes just like a restaurant. I mean, to me, okay? You might think it's different, like if you're like a, if you're a picky amina and you're like, that doesn't taste like, like to me it tastes just like it came from Olive Garden. Minus having to like, you know, like, like tip a waiter. But if y'all want to send me a tip, you can. Like a cooking tip, like, lavate las manos, limpiate el culo, you know? What are we making? We're making Zopa Toscana, the Olive Garden Zopa Toscana copycat uh, recipe. I'm going to turn it up. My um, oven has my baked uh, ravioli. In about 12 minutes, it's going to come out. I'm going to put the cheese over it, and then I'll put it right back in for about 10 minutes right before we right before we eat so that the cheese is nice and melty. Is that a mancha? A meko mancha? Can you make a seafood boil? I could. I live in Oregon, and right now it's not like a good seafood, like, purchasing time. Not because, like, it's expensive, mostly because it's like all the seafood is tiny for us uh, locally right now. Um, but we could do a seafood boil. Jose loves seafood. Let's go for 20K likes. F 20K likes. Let's go for 50K. I believe in you. Hi, Christina. How are you holding up, friend? Como estas? <laughs> the tip. Give me a tip, girl. Lávate los dientes. Bañate. Límpiate el culo. Limpia tu casa. No hagas amigas tóxicas. You know? Give me a tip. <laughs> And I love them. These uh, Kuro pans, honestly, are great. They were gifted to me by somebody. Um, and I appreciate it because they're very good pans. All right. While we do that, let me find all my spices. So we're going to need garlic powder, onion powder, salt, crushed red pepper. And crushed red pepper perfect um and you could do like a little pinch of paprika i'm gonna find my paprika my my paprika is not that rica it's more like pa pobre <laughs> like you know <laughs> pero pues ahí le va le está echando ganas la paprika <laughs> le está echando ganas a la chamba all right so those are going to be all of our soup seasonings we're frying this bacon up i turned up my heat so it starts frying faster because I'm hungry. Now I'm getting hungry more with which are they? I didn't hear. Which are they? What spices? So we're going to use a uh, garlic powder. Oh, onion powder. Oh, oh, oh. Um, onion powder. I know I have some of her here. Onion powder. Okay, so here's the spices for to, to for seasoning the soup. Garlic powder, pepper. You want the big pepper because you want to see all those big pepper flakes. This is restaurant style pepper. It's like a coarse pepper. Um, sea salt, crushed red pepper. Uh, oh, that's cayenne. Cayenne. Cayenne pepper. <laughs> I can never say, like, kind. I can't say it. Don't make me. I need paprika. Hold on. I think I know it's back there. Mm, oh, ground cumin. I found my ground cumin that I've been looking for. Oh, there's another crushed red pepper. Oh, there's my crushed dreams and hopes and financial statements. <laughs> I know. 
What was I gonna get? Oh, paprika. I can't find my paprika. Oh, there it is. I found it. It's you know, it's all. What you need is always all the way in the back. So just a little paprika for color. Just a little pinch. Okay. We're gonna fry this bacon until it's super fried, super crumbly. We're gonna take out any excess um, grease, but I don't think this bacon's super greasy, so it's gonna be fine. So, um, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, crushed red pepper, a little bit of paprika, and some salt. That's gonna be my seasoning for the soup. Oh, let me grab my heavy whipping cream as well. And we're gonna need some heavy whipping cream. You can also do half and half. I prefer heavy whipping cream, and we're probably gonna use the whole thing of heavy whipping cream. So you'll need heavy whipping cream. That's what gives it the creamy color. My pan's gonna, my pan's on super high heat. So here in a minute, I'm gonna start like moving it fast. And I have a little bowl to throw all my little uh, cooked bacon in. Cause at the end, we're gonna crumble the bacon on top. It doesn't actually go in the soup. We use the bacon grease as our oil though. You guys, super easy soup, super easy. Is it normal to have cold weather where I am? Yes. What's not normal is having ice storms. But we actually usually have at least one ice storm a year. Um, but everything just closes. Everybody stays home. The thing is, is because we're not in a, we're in a very like, I wouldn't say, okay, so like we have rainy season. We have snow season. We have um, cold season. We have every season we see at its fullest. So fall is 100% fall. It's a little rainy, very fall, very like crisp. I mean, you can go out without a like a heavy jacket, but a light jacket. Winter, very winter. Like we'll have a couple days where it snows. We'll have an ice storm here or there. Very much like that. Other than that, it's just cold. Sometimes it rains, you know. And then spring is spring. It rains. It it could be rainy today, warm tomorrow. It's very like spring. And then summer is hot. Like we've had actually pretty hot summers lately. That bowl looks cute. Thank you. Keep tapping, tap me, tap me. Mm, mm, mm. And I haven't been doing makeup, you guys, because it's been so cold in my makeup room. Um, because I still have the AC unit in the window, and I don't want to take it out because then I have to put it back in, like, in a couple months, you know? So I'm just like, I'd rather just not do makeup these cold, cold days. But we'll start doing makeup again on Wednesday because on Wednesday we wear... Wink. <laughs> uh, we're in Florida. We had, we have 72, you, you were in 70, oh, are you out here? Are you bragging? No. I just feel like anymore, like weather is just going to be weather and we're going to get what we get. I think it's kind of like our punishment for the fact that we've like been told for so many decades. I mean, I remember being a little girl and being told like we needed to start recycling and protecting our environment and our planet. And like nobody like believed in it. And I think now we're starting to see those effects of all the time and all the like, you know, things that we put into our, um, into our what are you making? It's kind of like, think of the planet as our body and like, you're not treating your body well, you can't, you can't expect it to stay healthy forever, you know? It's sad. It's sad because like, I, it makes me a little worried for my kids and their kids and their kids. I don't care about their kids no more. That, that's too many kids apart, separated apart. <laughs> I'm just kidding. But seriously, like, it's just a, like, there's no such thing as normal weather anymore. You know what I mean? What are you making? Sopa Toscana. What are we cooking? Sopa Toscana, the Olive Garden soup. Our bacon is starting to get nice and crispy. Crispy, crispy, crispy. And then once the onions come out, I mean, once the bacon is done, we're gonna throw in, that's when the soup's really gonna start being built. Um, we're gonna throw in our, oh, you know what? I'm gonna need something from here. Hold on, y'all. I'm gonna put your heads down for a minute, okay? Because I have to get in this little cupboard that's behind you. All in the way. What in la chicada. Actually, we are gonna need some chicken bouillon for our soup. I forgot. This is one of those recipes where I do use 
my chicken bouillon. You guys know I'm not a big chicken bouillon user just because of all the like chemicals and like preservatives that they put in those things. But I do use them for recipes that call for them like this. Who's calling? Don't answer the phone. Oh, no. Moving your bacon around so it, it, bake, it cooks evenly. Make sure your pan's evenly on the heat. My um, baked ravioli is about to come out of the oven. I'm just gonna take it out and put it over there. So I'm gonna grab my, uh, I'm gonna move you guys for a minute. Excuse me. I try not to move you guys too much because like sometimes I'll be watching others. Like I love watching other people's content and they'll be like moving around so much. It gives me dizzy. So I can't imagine, you know, I cannot imagine. We're also gonna make breadsticks. The breadsticks are gonna be easy. Like they're literally like, the easiest thing. I'm putting down a heat proof surface. This is like a, a, a stove, but still, like, I just want to make sure that, like, you know, you never know, like, what if I pound it down too hard, you know? Sometimes I pound hard, guys. Sometimes we pound soft, sometimes we pound hard. What did you guys have for dinner? Yeah, I cannot eat soft bacon, girl. I can't even eat soft B, let alone soft B, you know? <laughs> No, but you pinch us off beat deep. I guess even it's like a noodle. Like, um, sir, we're not in that movie, that Disney movie, The Lady and the Tramp, when they're slurping up the wet noodle. Mm -mm. Believe it or not, I've made this soup. It's so good. It's so easy to make, too, honestly. I know the secrets of Olive Garden, though. They actually don't make their soup in in. in in-house. Um, I had a friend that worked there that told me that it was like sent to them from the corporate offices because I was like, tell me the truth. Is this the recipe? She's like, girl, I don't know. We just heat it up. It comes in a bag. We open the bag and heat it up. I'm like, can I buy a bag? <laughs> Beef ribs. Yum. I haven't. Thank you for the rose. I haven't eaten yet. I'm pregnant. Ooh, amiga. I haven't eaten yet and i Possibly could be after last night. I'm just. Where's my husband? He gets so annoyed with me. He's like, babe, babe. I know, I know you're this way, but like, why? Why must you be a perra, 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 perra? And he's home with me right now a lot because you know he can't. Like all everything canceled, you guys. Everything's canceled. <laughs> it's snowing. Everything's canceled. It's raided. Everything's canceled. It's pouring. Everything's canceled. The old man is snoring. <laughs> I love this. I make it all the time. It's so good. I'm sitting back here drinking the pink Starbucks dupe. Ooh! So good. Okay, my bacon's almost there. Be careful, though, that you guys, bacon is very tricky. Like, she can that she can betray you. In one, one second, she's a little golden. The next second, she's burnt. <laughs> Okay, perfect. Taking all the bacon out. I'm using one of these like, just to let all that bacon grease kind of. My pan is not Teflon, so don't worry about it. Now, I, I'm, I'm with you though, girl, because sometimes I'd be watching somebody cook and the moment they grab a fork or a spoon and put it in their Teflon pan, I'm like, I'm out. I cannot learn anything from you. I cannot learn from you, girl. No, 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 um, no shade, but I'm, sh I'm shading. Okay. Okay. I'm going to turn down my heat. Let me take down my, let me take out my ravioli. The ravioli. Okay. I'm just going to take it out. I'm going to leave it right here. We're going to put it back in the oven uncovered. Woo. That looks delish. We're going to put the ravioli back in the oven uncovered with cheese on top, just so the cheese melts right before we eat. Probably like around the same time that I throw in my um, my breadsticks, okay? So we'll just leave that there for now. All right, so next step, we're gonna grab our onions. Let me grab my little picker uppers. I'm gonna grab my onion. I turn on the heat. Those are gonna cook really fast, okay? So. Like literally by the time I go over there, it's like time to fill in our garlic too. But I feel like a two shot. 
And by sous chef, I mean a chef named Sue. Because I don't know what a sous chef is, I just hear people say the name. Okay. We're going to grab two tablespoons of minced garlic. You can mince your, if you're mincing your own garlic, it's about eight to ten uh, garlic cloves, okay? But we're just grabbing pre minced. I call it huevona minced. Okay. We're gonna let that onion cook up in that um, in that in that bacon grease. Now, if you got a lot of bacon grease, take some out. But this is perfect. I'm gonna turn up my heat now. I turned it down too much. Turn up. We're gonna let those onions start to get aromatic, aromatherapy. And then we're gonna grab our Italian sausage. I'm using mild Italian. You can use whatever you like. You can use sweet Italian, hot Italian, mild, whatever Italian kind of Italian sausage you like, you use, okay? I'm using the Johnsonville Italian mild all natural. That means she hasn't had no BBL or, you know, like tummy tuck or nothing like that. Toda así, así nació. I can start to smell that garlic and onion, and that's exactly the point we throw our sausage in. Ah! Me trying to be a show off, also me almost burning myself. And now we're gonna break up that onion, I mean that a sausage, and we're gonna start cooking that sausage. I turned the heat back up because I had turned it down too low. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to cook up the sausage. Hi, Rosalie. My phone was, and I, but I'm here. Hi, Tammy. I have never tried this soup, but I want to. It's so, it's honestly my favorite soup. Um, my sister loves the chicken, the, the chicken and dumpling one. I don't like that one. I don't know why I just don't. I always have to get this one. I love creamy, like savory soups. I think they're so yummy and I'm like dipping my breadstick in it. Look, like, are we still talking about soup? <laughs> maybe, ah, uh, baby. Here's my ravioli. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's been in the oven for 30 minutes. It's just ravioli with pasta sauce and a little bit of Italian seasoning on top. We're gonna put the top, we're gonna put some uh, mozzarella, throw it in the oven, let the mozzarella melt, and it's gonna almost be like a ravioli lasagna um, with our sopa and our breadsticks. I'm gonna just eat sopa, but um, Jose wanted some ravioli. And the ravioli is uh, cheese and Italian sausage ravioli. I'm just breaking up all my pieces here. Once you see all that sausage browned, then we'll start adding in our um, chicken stock. Have you ever been chicken stocked? <laughs> File a restraining order, that chicken is stocked. All right, so I'm just gonna get, I'm gonna do one, I was gonna do two chicken stocks, but I think it's gonna be too salty. Because I usually do one low sodium and one just regular chicken stock, but I'm gonna or chicken broth, but I'm going to do one and water and then some, a little and then I'm gonna season it up with the salt and the chicken bouillon and everything. So that way I can control more of the the taste and it doesn't go salty fast. Because remember, like even the sausage has a little bit of salt, the bacon grease has a little bit of salt. I just feel like it can like you can get really salty fast. It's so good, yes. Look at how crispy our bacon is, look. She crispy, look at that. Look at that, literally, I'm like, mmm, mmm. Our sausage is almost there. I'm not sharing, just because it's been so cold in my makeup room, um, yesterday when I was doing my sister, uh, my sister-in-law's, 
my uh, son's girlfriend's nails. It was so cold in there, and we were in there for like three hours, and I was like, I have, I can't be in here. Because the thing is, is I still have a window unit in there. Um, I have a window AC unit in there, and that window AC unit, I don't take it out because it never gets this cold, and it's like freezing in there. You've had such a traumatic day. Mm -hmm. Well, good thing, friend, the day is almost over. And basil, um, I'm gonna, I, I don't add basil to mine. I add Italian seasonings. The the sausage has all the Italian seasonings, so I don't add more of that. But if you want to add basil, friend, add basil. If you want to add oregano, add oregano. Look, I'm not, I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm not your real mom. I'm your stepmom. Hi, primas of Tammy. I do. I do my nails. I just haven't. I, I broke one yesterday. Look at that. I just do my own nails, though. I don't do other people's nails. My We were just bored yesterday, and my son's girlfriend's birthday is coming up. She's going to be 20. I'm like, are you glad to finally be 20? She's like, yes. She's like, Julian's a year older than me, so he gets to enjoy 21st. I'm like, I don't think that my son's going to be a big partier. He's just not. Julian's very chill vibes. Show us how to make your drink. I'm actually going to post a video because every time I'm live, I always drink something when I'm live because my throat gets dry from being a chismosa. So it helps me. And I like, like, sometimes I just like, and next month it's going to be a different drink because I'd be getting bored. This soup does not need too much seasoning. Yeah, be very careful with the seasoning because you really want all those flavors to like come through, you know? Like you're trying to go to the party, come through. Okay, thanks. Of course. I remember when I was just a baby. I can't believe he's that old. I think you're thinking of Fabian. Fabian was a baby on here. Julian was like a like an older kid on here. When I started doing lives, Julian was probably like eight or nine. No, 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 maybe like nine or ten because Fabian was like one or two. And Julian and Fabian are eight years apart. Julian's my oldest. He's my twenty year old. He's um he's amazing, guys. Like I honestly feel very blessed to be his mom. Okay, so now we're gonna throw in one whole thing of chicken broth. Okay. And then we're going to throw in equal parts of water. And the reason I, you could do two chicken broths, I just feel like it gets really salty fast when I do two chicken broths. If I would have noticed and I didn't, I just noticed now that I didn't get a low sodium. Sometimes I'll do one low sodium and one regular, and I'm just going to do equal parts of water. Okay. The potatoes are going to absorb a lot of the water, so don't be afraid to make it watery. Okay. Now that we have all of that in there. We're going to season, okay? So we're going to need our pepper. I do two scoops of pepper. And that makes it about one teaspoon of pepper. We're going to do our paprika. I'm going to do half a little scoop of paprika. That's just for flavor. Not Jose over there snoring. We're going to do two scoops of garlic powder. We're gonna do one scoop of sea salt. You can actually also just not do sea salt, but that's what it calls for. You would do one scoop of onion powder, not onion salt, not garlic salt, okay, you guys? These are just the powders. And then we're gonna do um, a little handful of red chili flakes. And then we're gonna mix this up Get it nice and flavored. And before you put in your chicken bouillon, taste it and make sure that it's not too salty. That way you know exactly how much chicken bouillon. Everything in here is already cooked. That um, sausage, everything. Okay. It is a little under flavored. So we're going to do one tablespoon of the chicken bouillon. Okay.
Okay, we're gonna let that come to a heat. Taste it. Mm, I could probably do a little bit more chicken bouillon, but that would be like, I'm like right at the verge of it being under seasoned and over seasoned. So like one and a half tablespoons of chicken bouillon. Perfect, perfect. Okay, you're gonna let that come to a boil. While that boils, I'm gonna, you guys keep an eye on my sofa. If it boils, let me know. I'm just gonna, um, chop, I'm gonna just tear up my kale. I'm making your soup, Lord. Only because I was craving it. Okay. My friend posted it the other day. I was like, you know what? It's cold out. I'm gonna. My sister in law had asked me a couple weeks ago to make it, but it wasn't, it was when it was out of town. I don't like to cook when he's out of town. I'm on strike. How was, how was your drive? It was good until I got to Portland Road back up by the gas station. Did you flight a little? No. I went like five miles an hour. You're like, I'd rather get there late than never. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'm well, it was great going to work. It was just coming home. Really? Zopa from Olive Garden, yes. He's not watching football. Oh, he's watching football. Babe, are you watching football? You guys didn't hear him talking crap to you guys earlier? He's bored with football. Okay. I'm going to turn. Oh, my heat's already up. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead and throw in my potatoes, my paparoonies. <laughs> I should have put them in cold water, but I'll save you a minute and a half. So we're just gonna throw in our potatoes, okay? And we're gonna let those potatoes kind of start to soften and then we're gonna throw in our kale. Oh, yeah, 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 you're, yeah, you're right, Sophie, you're right. Once our uh, soup is boiling, we'll throw in our one cup of uh, heavy whipping cream. And then we'll make our breadsticks. Ooh, she can't bake. No, she can't. Okay. I'm not gonna cover it. I'm just gonna let it kind of come to a boil uncovered. I'm putting away all my ingredients. just put these away pepper garlic powder a little bit of sea salt a pinch of paprika a little bit of onion powder a little bit of pep, uh, crushed chili peppers a little bit of caldo de pollo I'm gonna bring I'm gonna put your heads down for a minute put your head down on the desk let's place heads up seven up do you guys remember playing that in school? Did you play that in school, babe? Heads up, seven up. You did it? No, oh, that's because you were old. You're older. That game wasn't invented in the 70s when you were born. It's definitely an 80s kid thing. Okay. I'm just waiting for it to come to a boil. 
going to open my Curvy Whipping Cream. When Walmart, though, had no, absolutely none. At Walmart did have no, um, no milk. Unless you were trying to buy that $8 a gallon organic milk. But yes, the game. I am old and played it. Oh, okay. I'm just teasing Jose because I'm always teasing him that he's older. <laughs> Sorry. I hope I didn't offend anybody. Age shaming is, let's leave that in the past. Okay, Rosalie, I'm sorry. Let me grab a ladle. And I'm just gonna kinda like move my soup around so nothing gets stuck to the bottom and make sure all those potatoes are separate from each other. They're not getting in a fight. You guys separate. I'm just waiting it for it to come to a nice little boil. Then we'll throw in our, um, how many cups? This is uh, two cups. You can throw the whole thing in, depending on how creamy you want your soup to be. There's not like no right or wrong. I like to put one cup in, but I might just throw the whole thing in. And then we'll throw in our kale. Here's our kale, nice and washed. I like tore it apart. So there's like no big pieces. If I see any big, oh, let me do that well. Let me tear up any of the big pieces. Tear it up. And then we're gonna make our breadsticks. Our breadsticks are gonna be really quick and they're gonna literally be done in 10 minutes. We're gonna throw our um, our ravioli bake in the oven with the cheese on top. I think, I think that's it. And some people chop it with a knife, girl. Honestly, look, you can, but you can tear it up too with your hands into smaller pieces. There you go. I'm gonna melt some butter while we, um, well, I guess I don't need to melt it yet, but I'm gonna get it ready. some butter for the breadsticks. Just moving it around so nothing gets stuck to the bottom. You could turn it up, but I kind of want it to kind of go slow. It's going to start coming to a boil here in a second. I cleaned off my countertop over here so that we can make our breadsticks. Let me grab my baking sheet. I'm gonna cut a piece of parchment paper and a piece, I'm gonna use a nonstick. breadsticks like out of scratch and just like a french bread recipe and you make them into breadsticks instead of into french bread but when i'm being lazy and i don't want to do all that i just um i just do it like i just make it with like with like french bread pillsbury rolls french bread come on we're waiting for you to boil i only feel the potato And just keep moving it around so nothing sticks to the bottom and burns. That's the only reason I'm moving it around. Let me put the cheese on top of my ravioli bake. This is my ravioli bake. I'm gonna put some mozzarella cheese on top. Put it back in the oven. It's gonna bake for about another 10 minutes just to melt that cheese. It's literally uh, like 
ravioli that you can buy at the store. I use mozzarella ravioli and Italian sausage ravioli with pasta sauce baked in the oven with a bunch of cheese on top. That's it. And I put a little bit of uh, Italian seasoning on there. And you almost eat it like a lasagna. I'm just spreading out the cheese so it's nice and even. That's going to go back in the oven. My potatoes are starting to get translucent. See that? When they start looking like that, that means they're starting the cooking process. That's exactly what you want. And at that point, you can start, um, I'm going to bring it to a boil because I'm going to throw in that cold whipping cream and I don't want to drop it down in temperature too much. So we're going to boil, we're going to let it come to a boil before we throw in our whipping cream. And the whipping cream, you're going to kind of throw it, you're going to kind of stir and throw and kind of pour it in um, slowly. Hmm. Heavy whip, heavy whipping cream. You could use half and half as well, or or like an actual like cream, like crema, if you want. But I like heavy whipping cream because it doesn't have any more sodium in it. Okay, we're gonna come to a boil here very soon. I could see, I could hear it. Oh, let me grab a lid for this. We're gonna cover it and let it cook for the last. Once we throw the kale in, we're gonna, oh, that's cheese. Um, once we throw the, the kale in, we're gonna just cover, we're gonna turn off the heat and let it just sit in its own heat for about, you know, until it's until we're ready to eat. Our breadsticks are gonna be baked for about 10 minutes and that's gonna bake for another 10 minutes, so. Yeah, about 15 minutes, baby. Why, you ready? Hmm? A little cat nappy. I, it's just a point, babe. I don't take any naps during the day, and I get up late, and you take naps. You get up super early and nap all day. Even when you get home, though. Hmm? He gives me such a hard time for like not, for like getting out of bed late. Like if I could stay in bed till noon, I would. I'm late. What are you making? Sopa Toscana. I keep you up late? I wake you up? Well, then I won't wake you up. You wake me up too sometimes. Y no digo nada. Hmm? No te hagas, wey. It's going to come to a boil. I could hear it underneath. Watching water boil is the most, like, obnoxious thing. But I want it to come to, like, a rolling boil. And then we'll throw in our cream. Then we'll throw in our um, kale. And then we're just going to let it sit in its heat while the breadsticks are in the oven. And I want the breadsticks to come out right as we're about to eat so they're super soft. Mm. Let me grab an egg for my egg wash. I'm going to try to make at least a dozen um, breadsticks. It looks delicious. It's so good. What a delicious meal, comfort food. Yeah, it, it's hot out. It's cold. It's hot out. It's hot outside. <laughs> it's summertime. They're like Rosalie's Delulu for roll. What's the temperature? Uh, it's like twenty-one degrees, but it says it's like it feels like fourteen with the wind gusts. It says twenty-one feels like fourteen, and I'm in the valley. So, like, if you're up near Portland, it's colder up there. Right, babe? Um, so, y'all, pray for my little brother, Chewy. He's up there. I, I try to order him some groceries. 
Um, but my order got canceled because they can't deliver them. And he had a car accident on New Year's Day. And his car got totaled out. So, um, he's carless. And he lives on a hill. And it's really dangerous to walk out there, you guys. Like, you slip and break something. Yeah. Yeah. You're negative 27. It's never good to be negative, friend. The Nissan on market is literally... Really? Why? On market, the Nissan over by, like, the... Uh, when, uh, by Dairy Queen? Why? What happened? See, what happens is a lot of people, like, the people that are unhoused... Um, they turn, they start fire, they're starting fires to keep warm outside because they, they don't want to go into like a lot of people, either there's not enough room. They don't want to separate from their families because their shelters, uh, are for women and there's some that are for men or they don't, you know, you can't do certain things inside shelters and they don't want to not have to be able to do that for during these days. So a lot of people are staying out and they're starting fires just to keep warm. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Take a picture and send it to me. Ah, yo, then she's both that babe. Did you hear? They said that the Nissan on Market Street is burning right now. Down to the ground to stay out of the cold. Dun dun. I hope nobody went to work today. That's all I'm gonna say. Things are replaceable, people aren't, okay? Okay, so now we're going to throw in our heavy whipping cream because it's boiling. And I like to throw it in slowly so I don't cool down my soup. So I'll throw in a little bit. I'll let that warm up for a minute. And then I'll throw it. And I'm going to do the whole thing. I'm going to let it, I'm going to let it be creamy. And I'm not moving my potatoes too much because I don't want them to fall apart. I'm just kind of like slowly going back and forth. Slowly put in the little bits of whipping cream so you're not cooling down your temperature too much let it kind of come bring come back up to a boil there we go I'm seeing bubbles again throw it in again it when you throw in cold to hot it like stops your cooking process and that's actually not that great for your food so just kind of slowly food is all about food is like food is like making babies you want to do it slowly so you do it right you see no Nacen todas desnalgadas como yo. I was definitely a quickie moment. <laughs> I like the little pieces. The little pieces? Ooh, somebody just got a badge. You guys, we have 99 members. I don't know what members are, but we got 99. I got 99 members and a bitch ain't one. Ah! <laughs> not me <laughs> is there bacon yes the bacon's right here the bacon goes on top you crumble it on top it's almost like a garnish and mostly the bacon grease is kind of what we cook it with kind of let it come back up to temperature throwing it in slow also stops it from curdling so You would be so impatient. Uh, see, that's the thing is, is in Oregon or in my home, I've always had electric stoves. So, and I actually like cooking slower. I feel like my food just comes out. I actually have a really hard time cooking on gas stoves because I've never had one. So I have to like figure it out. So everybody has like their thing, right? Uh, everybody has their kink. <laughs> so I'm making this tomorrow. It's so good. It looks so delicious. When are you putting the kale in it? Right when it starts boiling with the cream. You turn off the heat and you throw the kale in. The kale softens with the heat and then you cover it. Okay, you're not gonna leave the heat on because then it'll like, the, the heavy whipping cream will kind of like start to burn at the bottom. I put two cups of whipping cream or 16 ounces. I'm gonna let it kind of come up to a boil. I'm gonna taste it again once it comes up to a boil to make sure it's good on salt because we added another two cups of liquid so that could bring down the salt and potatoes take to take they absorb a lot of your sodium as well just in case 
Okay, we're just gonna wait for it to come to a small boil and then we're gonna throw in, you see the bubbles? If I threw in all that heavy whipping cream straight out of the fridge in that hot soup, it would curdle right away. It would start to curdle because you're shocking cold to hot. So you kind of do it slowly. And that my friend is how you do, that's how you make babies. No. What, what's that with the cheese? This is a, a Italian and cheese ravioli bake. So it's ravioli with pasta sauce and it's been cooking. It's already cooked. Um, I took it out of the oven and we're going to throw it back in the oven to melt the cheese right when our, see that you guys, it's already coming to a boil. I want it to come to a rolling boil and then we'll throw in our kale. I'm just waiting to see boil like bubbles boil all the way around. Then we're going to throw in our kale. We're going to cover it. The kale's kind of going to steam in its own heat. Let me throw my butter in the microwave. Butter, butter. Oh, sugar, sugar, oh, bum, bum, bum. Can you recap what you've done from the start? Yeah, or you could rewatch. Um, I don't know if you have a uh, book face, the, uh, the blue app, but if you do, I have it up on there. Um, but it's actually very easy and I always keep up. I'm live on the both platforms at the same time so that I can keep it up for you guys. You guys can go back, replay, make sure to follow me over there. I cook there. Anytime I make dinner for my family, I, I make it there. But I'll be doing both apps um, for the mean for forever and more until there's a third app. Okay, I'm gonna throw in my kale. Kale's washed and cleaned, and I broke it up. If you see any super big pieces, you can um, kind of just. Oh, that's my butter. Oh, butter, 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 butter. Okay, now I'm just gonna turn off the heat. Turn off the heat, let the kale get into there really nice. Look at that, there it is, Olive Garden who? No la conozco. She can't sit with us. <laughs> I'm like, you can't pay with us because I'm not paying for those prices. And now you have a giant stock pot of Sopa Toscana. Cover it up, let it just sit in that heat for the next like however many minutes until you go now we're going to make our breadsticks, okay guys? You ready for the breadsticks or no? Okay, so for the breadsticks, here we are, we're back over here, here. Okay, for the breadsticks, we're going to grab, you can also just make bread, like French bread recipe, just look one up and make it, but I'm lazy, so I'm going to make them with this lazy tube of bun. Ow! That's a little mountain dedo. There we go. There we go. So this is French bread. Okay. And so I'm gonna roll out. <laughs> All right, let me grab my dough cutter. Okay, and I'm just gonna cut like about how much we're gonna need for the breadsticks. Cut them in pretty much like the same sizes. So one tube is gonna make about six or seven breadsticks. Okay, so there are breadsticks. Now you're just gonna pull them out. Pull out. <laughs> Unless you wanna get pregnant, girl, then leave it in. So you mean mama, not you guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, you could make them as big or as little as you want, but you're just gonna roll them out, okay? I'm putting this here. We're gonna put our breadsticks like that. So we're just gonna roll them out. It's already pre pre-packaged uh, French bread in a tube. And you could make them um, 
skinnier. You can make them bigger. You could stretch them. You could flip them and reverse them. Burp, 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 burp. What's in the pink drink? It's um, co toasted coconut flavored sparkling water, uh, sugar free coconut tirani syrup. Um, this one used to be rolled really well. Um, uh, what else? What else is in there? Um, what else is in there? Let me think. Uh, oh, uh, strawberry puree. That's it. And water. I mean, an ice, not water. And, and frozen water. <laughs> I know you like them big, um, girl, but not too thick. Because luego te, te anchas. Te hinchas. Pero ancha. <laughs> Strawberry syrup and strawberry syrup, yes. And the strawberry syrup is not sugar free, so it's kind of the only sugar that goes in there. Um, and I'm actually gonna come up with a new drink because I'm bored, I'm starting to get bored of it. I might do like caramel apple because you could just buy like apple flavored uh sauce. Okay, I'm gonna stretch them out a little bit more. This is a nonstick uh, sheet. Stretch them out nicely. And then we're gonna do, hold on, Italian style bread. You're gonna do, heat your, stretch the dough about 13 inches long, place dough on cookie sheet, cut four, four deep diagonal, diagonal, <laughs> not the diagonal, <laughs> diagonal. <gasps> I know, se me enseñó lo pendejo. I was trying to hide it. And it says to stretch it. I'm gonna like be like, tch, 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 tch. like that, stretch it. She's, this one's gonna be a little skinny one, but long skin, long and skinny, para las que les gustan así. I love your cooking, your looks, your personalities, <laughs> multiples. <laughs> and you can twist them. You could flip them and reverse them. I'm just gonna push them down so that they do stretch. And then we're gonna put a little egg wash on them. You can make them into garlic knots, which maybe I should make them into garlic knots, huh? What do you think? Because garlic knots, they go like this. And I think they're prettier. Like, oh, I wanna do garlic knots. Babe, garlic knots are okay instead of breadsticks. Okay, I like garlic knots. And then I don't have to sit here and stretch them for 30 minutes. We're gonna do garlic knots. Honestly, any bread is fine. But pretty much with garlic knots, you just like fold them. I'll do an egg wash. They're going to go in the oven for about mm, 10 to 15 minutes. I'll, ch I'll take them. I'll check on them at 10 and see if they need more time, depending on your oven. And then um, I'm going to do an egg wash and then we'll put a butter, uh, like a butter herb uh, seasoning on top when they're done baking. Tap, tap, tap. <sighs> Jose's trying to take a cat nap. I know I like to wake him up. I like to keep him up. He's not working tomorrow, so he can't complain. I'm gonna keep him up later too. Honestly, lately that I haven't been able to go live at night because it's so cold in there, that like, like I'm literally like shivering, like my nose is dripping. Like it wouldn't bother me to go live and do makeup for you guys, with you guys, because I have nothing else to do. But like it's the moco and the and the and the breathing, you know. <laughs> me I roll I didn't roll it I didn't like pull it out I just started banging it against the counter so we're making garlic knots we changed our mind it was a mind-changing moment 
It's okay, guys. And then you're just gonna fold over your garlic knots. That is a giant garlic knot. We're gonna make it smaller. Depending on how much your family eats, buy a space heater for the room. You know what though? The space heaters, I don't know why, they always short out your electricity. And I use so many lights when I'm live, like so many that I don't think that our electricity, do you think babe? I'd be like, babe, are they right? Should I do it? Should we do it? It's okay. It's one more day, guys. We could not, we could look for Ita Sassi for one more day. Okay, sofa looks ready. I'm just made sure I turned off my sofa. Make sure you roll it and stretch it because this one that I didn't roll and stretch that well doesn't look bad. She doesn't look bad at appetizing. This one looks kind of like an Audi belly button and that one looks kind of like a, a micro pee. Okay, there we go. There we go. You're making cinnamon rolls? No, I'm making garlic knots, amiga, for our sopa toscana. I was going to make them into breadsticks, but I don't want to sit here and, like, stretch uh, bread for, like, 30 minutes. You know, I'm ready to eat. I'm ready to put something in my mouth, food-wise. Okay, I'm going to make this into a good breadstick. That way they don't look all weird. Those are shrinking. Yes. It's fine. The bread's already been risen. It's one of those like uh, rolls, like the Pillsbury rolls that you like do. I've done this many times, guys. This, this, today is not my first podio. Why is this one so wet? I feel like this dough is like really wet and it came out wet out of the thing. Maybe it's because I didn't like unroll it. But why would I have anything to do with it? I just like popped it open without unrolling it. Oh, there we go. They'll fluff up in the oven. These don't have to rise because the dough's already been pre-risen. What's this soup called? Sopa Toscana. I'll show it to you. It's done. I want to make at least 20 uh, garlic knots. If you, if you are a patient queen and you're not starving like I am right now and you don't want to snack on something and you just want to eat dinner and you want to make them into breadsticks, you can. You just have to literally keep stretching them. It's kind of like pizza dough. Like, uh, it feels like kind of like, here, let me mix all these together because I feel like, I don't know why that one piece of dough was like, was it wet on here? Was it wet in there? Did it get wet? <laughs> okay. I was supposed to go to my P.O. box because one of the amigas sent me something and um, I can't get up there because it's like really icy out that way. I called my sister because I wanted to see. I haven't seen the, my mom or the kids since Friday because the weather kind of started getting bad on Saturday. I, w I went over there to make sure my mom didn't need anything on Friday. They were prepared. And um, I called Felipe. He was like, I made a snowman. You mean like an ice man? They make the little swirls. <laughs> well, friend, I, my, my dogs don't make swirls. They leave like a whole ass like this. Pincha turds mas grandes que el my dogs never leave like a little Hershey squirt. They leave a whole freaking Lincoln log. I'm like, no, pues. But can we not talk about Lincoln logs while I'm live doing... <laughs> this dough is so different than the first can. But they were... I bought them both today and they're both... 
This one looks like a snake about to come out and unravel and bite you and lie on your name. I don't cook much. I get confused about the creamer for the cooking. Cual compro? Oh, heavy whipping cream, amiga. Heavy whipping cream. Or if you're buying it in the Mexican store, puedes usar la crema, la crema mexicana, the one that's called table cream or crema, not the sour cream. But heavy whipping cream is cheaper and it tastes exactly the same. I don't know why that piece of dough is so like different than the first one. That was weird. Okay, now I'm gonna do an egg wash on them. And then we're gonna put those in the oven for 10 minutes. And we're gonna put our ravioli in the oven too. So let me put a little, let me grab a little bowl. These like the first ones I made, oh, so cute. These ones parecen como dijo mi amiga las cagadas de perro, no? I don't know what. These are for the sancha. If she comes over for dinner, give her these. Okay. So we're gonna do egg wash. You can add water to your egg washer if you want. If, to your egg washer if you want. I'm just going to add the egg. And you're going to just kind of grab your egg and just kind of put it on top like that. These are going to go in the oven for 10 minutes. We'll check them at 10 minutes. Try not to get egg, egg wash all over your thing. I'm going to have to clean that up. And the egg wash makes them nice and shiny. These, I don't know why they turned out like that. That's so weird. These are going to look like those like peanut butter protein bars. <laughs> That's the weirdest thing ever. Let me clean up my thing so we don't have all my scrambled eggs on it. The egg wash just makes the top like nice and shiny. All right, these are gonna go in the oven at 375 degrees for 10 minutes. I should have put these in first, but I'm always afraid to. And I'm gonna put my ravioli bake ravioli bake um it's already been baking for 30 minutes um now it's going to go in for about 10 minutes as well to like melt the top of the cheese okay i'm going to put timer for 10 minutes start the timer i'm going to clean up a little bit while we wait guys if you guys want to hang out so you guys can see the finished look Our sopa's done. Let me grab my sopa. Our sopa toscana's done. Did I take this? Probably. Sopa toscana. It's just been sitting on the stove with all the covered so that that kale can get nice and soft. Then I'm gonna grab my bacon, my Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna make my butter, my, my herb butter. Parmesan cheese, the fine cut Parmesan cheese. If you have one of those little Beep, beep, beep. Then you can use one of those. Thank you for whoever just sent the cars. Okay. I'm gonna grab that. I'm gonna grab the bowls. All my bowls. Got my 
my rolls. Just keeping an eye on my rolls and my bowls. All right. Um, my butter is already in here. Melted butter. When our rolls come out, we're going to put some melted butter and then we're going to sprinkle some. Uh, where is it? Where did I put that? I have like garlic bread seasoning, but I don't know where I put my garlic bread seasoning. Oh, I see it. Okay. Why must I be short? I'm not really that short. I'm actually pretty average. So we're going to, um, when the garlic knots come out, we're going to put some butter, melted butter, and then a little bit of this garlic spread seasoning. It's pretty much like garlic bread seasoning on top of our garlic knots. I'll put that there. And we're just waiting six minutes. I'm watching you cook some good food while I eat corn dogs. Yum. Tammy, I think it's SB. Thank you for the, what are those? Elisa, thank you for the party poppers. Thank you for the party popper. Ah. <laughs> you think the potatoes are soft? The potatoes are super soft. Do you want to see? I'll serve myself a plate so you guys can see. Oh, let me rinse it, you guys, because I put it in here. My ladle. Oh, I love my ladle. I'll serve myself a bowl of the soup so you guys can see how the potatoes look. Five minutes, guys. Five minutes. <laughs> countdown. The, the button countdown. Okay. So you want to serve it like this. You want to grab a little bit of everything. Like this. So your potatoes are definitely soft. They're not overly soft and they are starting to fall apart. That's why you keep the skin on. Otherwise it becomes like a potato mash. Let me um, grab a little bit of everything. I'm gonna grab a smaller piece of kale, smaller piece of potato, some sausage, some broth, and we're gonna let it cool down. Um, you could put some fresh Parmesan cheese on top, some bacon bits. I'm going to put some on my soup when I eat dinner. Oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> I make a mess of uh, that little thing in the back of my throat. <laughs> like Carly B calls it. It's so good. Hi, Tanya. Mmm. Oh okay. God. The potatoes are definitely soft. It's not overly seasoned. So when you add that Parmesan cheese, it's gonna add that perfect amount of seasoning. Um, waiting for my cheese to melt. I think my garlic knots are definitely gonna need some more time. Yeah, my garlic knots are gonna need some more time. So, maybe, uh, maybe like, We'll, we'll wait, we'll see. Not me blowing your food. I know you make your man. That soup, it looks so good. It is delicious, amiga. Blow it. Can you blow me for me, friend? <laughs> I'm honestly okay waiting on the garlic knots because we can eat those later. 
I just want the ravioli to be done so Fabian can come eat. Let me go get Fabian. coming let's see what he says about dinner oh and then you want to put some bacon bits on top of your sopa just like the bacon that you cooked just that crispy super crispy bacon put it on top that right there my friend is you made veggie lentil soup Ooh, i can't candace i was telling the girls at my makeup room because it's like literally like 18 degrees outside my, and my makeup room has a window unit AC. So like cold air is coming in and it's so cold in there that like if I try to do makeup. Yesterday I was trying to do uh, Julian's girlfriend's nails and uh, my nose was like dripping from cold. So um, I'm going to have to wait till it's a little warmer because I can't even get through like doing ma nails let alone makeup. Um, and, and Jose's like we should have taken out your unit and I'm like oh so Hello, Fabian. Hello. You ready to eat? Look yeah. what's in the oven. Oh. You want to see? Let's see? Don't open it. Just look in the, the lights on. Look down there. Why can I open it? Because there's food in there. Look. It's ready. It's almost ready. It's literally got, look at how many minutes. How many minutes is that? Uh, two. Yeah. Do you want to say hi to the amigas? You want to tell them? They, they can't see your pants. Oh, yeah, they can. Hold on. Hold what on. is that? Bacon. You want to just stick your fingers in it? Yeah. That's fine. We live in your world, Fabian. You don't even have cooties. I, you are my cootie. You want to, you know that? No. Did you know that? That you are actually my cootie? Say hi, amigas. Hi. Say I've been chilling for like all weekend. Yeah. Just doing what? What? Just eating snacks. Yeah. Are you going to eat some sopa toscana? Okay, yep. Yeah. Just dip it in there. Yeah, who cares? There's no germs here. What do you think? Good. How many stars? Here, try it. Bacon soup right here. You want to try some? Look at there's bacon. There's potato. There's lettuce. Okay, blow on it. It's hot. Is it still hot? Blow on it. Blow on it. It's huh? It's hot. I told you, blow on it. What do you think? What do you think? Good. You like it? Yeah. You want me to serve you some so it's not so hot? In a bowl with your ravioli? Yeah. Okay, let me put it in a bowl. Mm -hmm. Play two. You want bacon on it? Yeah. You want cheese? Yeah. You want me to do it like they do it at the table at Olive Garden? Yeah. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. Ando toda greñuda. He's so big. I remember when you would go live on. I still do, friend. I'm over there right now. And he was little. Yeah, he's he's so big. He's so amazing. He's so everything. He's my whole world. I mean. What can I say, friend? What can I say? Other than... That's weird. Oh, my garlic knots, they're looking good. They're still going to need a little bit of time. And my ravioli is still a little... The cheese still needs to melt just a little bit more. So maybe like five more minutes? Baby Ann, the amiga said you're so... Come here. You won't believe what the amiga said about you. What? They said you're so... What? What do you think they said? Smart? No, they said something else. What is it? Guess. What? They said you are so... Handsome? You are, but that's not what they said. What? They said you are so... What? Mm. Yeah, what do you say? What do you say about that? Say, I eat all my vegetables. Yeah, <laughs> so handsome, so smart. Ah, you guys, honestly, self-confidence starts at home. And I've always, oh. I always tell my son how amazingly handsome and amazing he is. 
Because I honestly feel like the world's going to tear him down, so I got to build him up. So, like, the world's going to tear him down, and if I build him up this high, he's only going to go down a little bit, you know? He's all the above. They said all of the above. Yes. My handsome. Go, Fabian. He's handsome. He wants some. Baker. Daddy's going to get mad you're eating all his bacon. You know my bacon? <gasps> what do you say? Say it's so. So. It's so. The bacon is. I can't help it. Tell him. It's so delicious. It's so delicious. Okay. So you want your sofa? No. And you want bacon on it? And you guys, Fabian would not be caught eating the sopa. Like, recently he's been getting into soups. Okay, we got bacon on the soup. We're gonna want some cheese. Yep. Would you like some queso? Yeah. Okay. He is everything and then some. Oh, he said you're everything. Is it true? No. He said, yep. Okay, a little bit of queso. Ooh. What is it? Oh, okay. Alright, let's check on our ravioli. Mm. What are, are, are any of these white ones? Those are uh, uh, garlic knots. You're going to want one or what? Yeah. Okay. They're not going to be done for a little bit, but I just want to show them the ravioli. You can eat, you can eat garlic knots a little bit later. Yeah. Yeah? He's so excited to eat. Hi, amiga. Hi. Uh, hello, Fabian. You go, Fabian. You go, Glenn Fabian. Yeah. Do you want to show them a meme? Come here! Where are you going? No, we're gonna eat. Come on. We're just waiting for the ravioli to come out. It's hard to get him out of his room. He like loves hanging out in his room, huh, Fabian? And your room needs to be clean. You wanna clean it together tonight? We can just vacuum it. We can make your bed. What do you think? Or you just you could just eat bacon all night. What do you think about that? Yeah. Oh, well, Glenda, I don't think I'm the best mom. I think I'm a, I'm the best mom to my kids because that's the only thing he, they, that's the only, that's the only thing they have. <laughs> okay. I'm going to give them one of these. I love these little soup spoons when your soup has a lot of like big chunks in it because it picks up all of them. These are the ones that you can get like at the Asian market. And then I'm going to put his ravioli right there. I'm just waiting. It's like almost there, guys. Like it's almost there. How huh, Yeah. Say, don't go, Fabian. Milk pebbles. I think we can take it out now. Because it's starting to spill over. Okay, let's take it out. Let's take it out. Go, ravioli. Go, ravioli. Yeah, baby? Yeah. I can smell that burnt. The burnt. It could be a little bit more melty, but it's starting to spill over. So we're just going to take it out. So this is our ravioli bake. I'm gonna serve some for Fabian. 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 He's been eating it all made by the handful. What do you say, Fabian? Say, oopsie. Say, Daddy, I can't help it. I'm a bacon monster. Huh, oh, Fabian? Tell them I love bacon. Okay, this is the ravioli. So we're just gonna put it right here. You want some? Um, you want some uh, Parmesan cheese? Yeah. Fresh. Or ground or uh, grated. Fresh. Fresh, okay. And now here is my son. He's already sitting down. He's ready to eat. Here is Fabian's meal. A little ravioli ba bake with some fresh. Well, it's not that fresh. It's just pre-grated par uh, Parmesan. And his sopa toscana with bacon. And this is Fabian's meal. What do you think, Fabian? How many stars? How many stars do you give this meal? Mm. I would love to share a vegan butter board with you. <gasps> wow, that looks delicious. Yes. There's our sopa toscana for Fabian and our ravioli bake. Jose wanted ravioli bake and Fabian and mommy wanted sopa toscana. Huh, Fabian? And we're just waiting for the breadsticks to get out and you need to get in the shower. As soon as you're done eating, okay? You know why? Because you've been just chilling all weekend and you smell like you've been chilling. It's so hard, you guys, with Fabian. He, he doesn't struggle a lot to get in the shower. He just... No. Say nope. nope. It's a... What kind of day, Fabian? No. 
Say it. Tell Daddy. My bread knots are almost done. Maybe like five more minutes. But I'm going to jump off, you guys. I'm going to get my family eating dinner. I hope you guys are warm and safe. And you have all the necessities that you need for this crazy, crazy weather we're having. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow we're making pork dumpling soup from scratch. Um, what do you think, Fabian? Dumplings? You want dumplings? Is it hot? Tell the amigas. It's hot. It's hot. What's hot? What is it? The ravioli is hot. Thank you guys for tapping the screen. Thank you guys for being here and sharing. If you guys want to watch the replay of this video, you can go over to Bookface. If you're over here, if you're on TT, you can go up to the bio and then there's a link tree in that link tree is my Facebook um, and watch the replay and make this recipe. It's super easy. We made a whole ravioli bake and a soup and our garlic knots in less than about an hour so if you guys want to watch the replay head over there i love you guys and i will see you guys mañana come say bye fabian come say goodbye fabian says goodbye say buenas noches nos vemos ma mañana mañana <laughs> he's so cute it is. Yes. Uh, yes, it is. Glenda, you can head over to Facebook and watch the replay. It was like literally as soon as I start the video, just like go like three minutes ahead and I start cooking right away. Like there's no like pauses. I try to like cook and do everything and cook at the same time. Okay. Um, okay. Bye. Say bye, babe. Bye. Bye guys. Jose, Jose took a herb bowl and now he's ready to eat. I know he is. Are you ready to eat, baby? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye guys.